This week, I watched my first Alfred Hitchcock film, Rear Window. What have I been doing with my life? Alfred Hitchcock. He is an amazing filmmaker. I've never heard more positive things about a filmmaker than Alfred Hitchcock that I can think of. I know there are a lot of great filmmakers out there. Um, Quentin Tarantino, we hear tons of great things about. Alfred Hitchcock, James Cameron, Steven Spielberg. These are all iconic directors. I There's no reason why I haven't seen an Alfred Hitchcock film before. This just happens to be my first one and I went to see it because it happened to be playing at the Apollo which is an independent movie house here. My friend Sarah let me know it was playing, invited me to go, knew I was doing the book. I mean otherwise I still wouldn't have seen an Alfred Hitchcock film and I am <laughs> I was so impressed. I can't, I can't believe it. I can't wait to watch more of the Alfred Hitchcock films. So talking about this one specifically, nothing happens in this film, but you are so engrossed and intrigued and like peaked. I didn't look up what the film was about before we went to see it at all. So I went completely blind. I was like, I'm ready for this story to take me away. I want, I don't want to know anything about it. And the whole story, is uh, this guy confined in a wheelchair, looking out his rear window onto a courtyard and like peeping Tommy, all of his neighbors. And it's so engaging. Like you, there's nothing that goes on yet. You want to know, like you have, there's all these little stories. And then the main story is there's a husband and wife across the way. The wife is an invalid. It's clearly put tension on their marriage. You don't see anything. You see him. You see the husband dialing the phone and because of the time he's doing it and his body language, you assume it's a mistress, but really you have no idea. He, you just assume that based on all these visuals that Alfred Hitchcock is giving you. You see him leave in the middle of the night a couple times. You see him packing up some knives and then you see the wife isn't in her bed anymore. And then a detective comes and says she's gone upstate. And you think, that's a reasonable explanation. Like, nothing, you haven't seen anything. You're completely convinced that this guy is guilty. <laughs> it's, it's so engaging. And, like, for no reason. But I couldn't get, I was eating it up. I could not get enough of this film. One of the key things that the book talks about is the idea of being confined to this wheelchair. And Alfred Hitchcock does a great job of you feeling like you're also confined, like you can't help what's going on on the screen. Lisa, who is played by Grace Kelly, turns into Jeff's legs and goes to do some investigative work. And she's so, I know it, she's so dainty and she's in these dresses and these heels. And I mean, that's the whole thing is you're supposed to think the stereotype of her and then she completely surprises you and like goes and does the most dangerous things and you can't help her. And like she, you know, the supposed murderer is coming down the hall. She's trapped in the apartment. Jeff Jeffries can't do anything because he's confined to his wheelchair and you can't do anything because you're not on the screen and you just want to like warn her. And then of course, like he, she gets caught and... It's just this whole idea of being confined and the way that Alfred Hitchcock like makes you feel the way that the main character feels and makes you see things through his eyes and connect with him on a way that I don't know that I've ever connected to a character that much. And then at the ending, when like you really feel confined and helpless, it is, there's so much tension built up, there's so much suspense, and it's all just visuals acting I mean there is dialogue but there really is no reason to be so suspenseful yet it is and it's so interesting if you haven't seen this movie I highly recommend it I'm very excited to see more Alfred Hitchcock films I'm a little bit nervous about seeing the birds because I'm already afraid of birds but this was an amazing piece of work it is 100% a must-see movie, and if you want to continue on this journey and hear more about more Alfred Hitchcock movies, then please you know, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to watch more Alfred Hitchcock movies. I'm going to try and do it um, like sometime in the fall, because this guy deserves 
attention and if, if there's anyone that wants to hear about his movies or have a spotlight or just wants to has seen them and wants to talk about them i'm here leave me a comment let's chat i'm a new newly born alfred hitchcock fan I want to mention uh, a line that stood out to me right at the start of the movie where um, Jeff Jeffries, the main character, talks about doing uh, laundry, using the dishwasher, using the garbage disposal, and in my mind I was like, oh they had those back in the 50s. Like I, I don't know why, I, I don't know why, I just, it would surprise me to hear those things. And then we find out he also has commitment issues, and I was like, oh. Yeah, they had those back in the 50s too. I have never related more closely to a leading lady than Grace Kelly in this movie. This guy has the most insane reason not to commit to her and I really hope that her actions in this film really like stopped those insecurities but we'll never know because at the end of the film she still has no ring on her finger.